Thank you for joining us again. It is such a pleasure to have you with us today. GIC's COVID-19 Freedom Collection. You've got us on our final segment today, at least for this particular series on wealth and legacy. What's so awesome today is we are actually gonna be doing our final presentations from our participants in art and expression. Our last segment, we not only finished our stock voyage game, if you remember, we did such a great job over that seven week period tracking our stocks, we actually made money. If you recall, we made about $87 at the end of that time, but that was a one share situation. Some of you actually purchased more and you made some money. So I'm very happy to hear that. We will be picking up our voyage game around investing in our next segment. If you recall, we have equities, which is one of the reasons why we decided to start with stocks because that's what they are and they are listed on the stock exchanges. Next time, we'll be looking at fixed income and real estate. Fixed income includes things like CDs and bonds. And these are investments that you pretty much know what amount of money you're gonna earn and when you're gonna get it back. That's why it's called fixed income. The last category, which is alternative investments, is like includes real estate. So we'll pick up our next segment, most likely with real estate, community investing, and the benefits that impact our community from a social impact basis. But today, I'm so excited. We have people who have really, really worked from the beginning of our segment in August to today to present you with some incredible works of art. And when I talk about art and expression, I just don't mean one piece of art and one type of art. For example, we'll start with my piece. If you recall, I made a piece that's called Hot Buttons. And these hot buttons, if you recall, I mentioned the reason I created a heart was because when it comes to money sometimes, and when it comes to wealth, that's where some people's heart is. Now, that was in the beginning of our session. This is my piece right here, if you can see. As you can see, it's a heart, and it's made up of all kinds of glass, and um, I have a mirror in there, which helps to reflect on what you might be thinking. I also have a little area right here, which I call, um, when it comes to investing, a lot of people really do put their money where their heart is. It's like putting your money where your mouth is. In this case, it's putting your money where your heart is. So this is my mosaic and it's called Hot Buttons. So I started off the segment with my piece. Now you remember I have a partner in crime in this art and expression session. And that is Miss Barbara Howard, Sister B Mello. She's here as well to navigate us through today. We also have our finalists who are already backstage to come and present their works of art. So Barbara, Miss B, welcome to our final segment of Art and Expression, COVID-19 Freedom Collection. Well, thank you, Kathy. I, it is an honor and a privilege to be before you today. I just want to say my name is Barbara Howard. I wear many hats in the community. I am a life coach for the 180 degree program. We teach the social emotional learning, self-development, self-awareness, and social responsibility. I am also the founder and coordinator of the Oakland's June team. And I am the founder, executive director, and CEO of BH Brilliant Minds Project Inc., a mentoring program for the youth and their families. Well, as Kathy said, I just wanna say we are, I am excited that all of our participants and the Freedom Collection will be showing you their final project today. 
Today, we will be revealing the special projects that you all have completed for the Freedom Collection. And we just want to also make sure we want to say that our foundation, of course, in the African-American community is on Izumba Saba. And this is our principles. These are the seven principles that we stand on. Also, the virtue of Mayat are the principles also. So it's the virtues of making sure that we respect one another, making sure that we continue to represent our ancestors in a, in a special way. So all of the participants that have experience what we experienced together we're so honored to be on this journey and it was chosen the roads we travel because many times in our lives our roads that we travel we may experience ex different things like microaggression macroaggression and through our art expression it's about how do we heal ourselves how do we heal others how do we as a community come together and make it the world a better place for everyone. So we are so excited about today and we are going to talk with each individual. They will have up to three to five minutes to share their name and the creative process. Back over to you, Kathy. Well, thank you, Barbara. This You're welcome. It's really gonna be fun. Now, let me preface by saying Usually when we think about art and expression, most people are thinking, you know, it's probably a painting or um, some sculpture or something like that. What we've allowed people to do here, one of the reasons why we call it Freedom Collection, is to truly be free in their thought about what it means to them. And when I say it, I'm, why would you participate in something called a Freedom Collection? And if we're talking about wealth and legacy, what does that really mean to you? What you're going to find is that each person that is uh, presenting today came up with something extremely different. And what most people don't know when it comes to entrepreneurship, and this is something that Barbara mentioned in our last show, was that entrepreneurship is a form of art. And the reason it's a form of art is because there's no one like you if you're an entrepreneur and there's no one like you with your own vision doing what you do. So most of the time, an entrepreneur is someone that's usually flying as they go to figure it out, just as you usually do when you're making a painting or you're creating a mosaic. So keep in mind as we um, introduce you to our finalist. And by the way, everyone wins. If you recall, each one of these presenters will receive $25 for participating in the GIC COVID-19 Freedom Collection. So it's not just about their expression, it's also about making money. As you know, that's what I'm about, making money. We're going to introduce our very first person who is going to introduce her Freedom Collection piece. Her name is Jasmine. Jasmine. Why don't you share not only with Barbara and with me, but also all of our viewers who are watching us. Welcome to the GIC Freedom Collection. You're on mute. I think you're on mute. Thank you so much, Barbara and Kathy, for having me today. I'm really excited to be able to share my freedom piece from the collection with you guys today. Um, my journey today that involves my piece really involves health to wealth. And so I just wanted to share my piece and why I decided to join the Freedom Collection, because my freedom and truly understanding is really taking my health to wealth. And so I just want to introduce a little bit about health and wealth and how healthy living increases my financial wealth. Um, I, I, originally started, um, I originally started my business, Essence Healing Organic Juices, because I, I was looking for healing. I was on a healing journey, and I was looking to become healed. I wanted to remove chronic pain. I wanted to remove de depression. I had just 
beat thyroid cancer. And so I wanted to take this opportunity and keep growing in my healing. Um, what I discovered is that the real root of healing is just like Barbara said, going back to our ancestors, right? Really eating of the fruits and the herbs of the earth and really learning uh, what type of foods we need to eat. So I decided that natural healing is the best method for me. And I want to introduce natural healing to you guys through Essence Healing Organic Juices. Essence Healing Organic Juices is basically a business that I started by myself. Um, and I was trying to, like I said, just tell of my healing journey and just express to others um, exactly what it takes for real healing. So I discovered that roots, vegetables, uh, fruits, natural herbs of the earth is the best way to treat and heal some of the natural um, diseases that's been in our bodies. And so through Healing Organic Juices, what we did is we created juices that are healing juices, but they're bottled based on healing disorder and healing diagnosis. And so if you're struggling with diabetes, if you're struggling with high blood pressure, our healing juices is a great way for you to jump into healing and really get a jump on being healthy, right? So I took this idea and I decided to build on, build on it, not just for my own healing, but introduce it to others so they can take their health to wealth as well. Um, and so like Kathy mentioned, this is a way for me to get to my financial uh, security Right, because not only am I taking what I'm passionate about, taking the fruits and vegetables and the herbs that produce healing, that produce benefits, that can help me grow, be strong, give me energy, um, help with my memory, help with chronic pain to where I can fully impact and enjoy my life. That's when I decided that I'm really taking my health to wealth. And so the healing juices you can find on Essence Healing organicjuices.net. And what's exciting about this is you can always go to whatever it is that you're trying to do. If you're concerned about weight loss, you can click right on the weight loss section. And on this weight loss section, it'll be several juices that you can choose from. And then right along the side here, if you have headaches, no problem. We have a juice for headaches. And what I really love about these juices is not only are they natural, organic, fruits and vegetables, herbs and uh, roots of the earth that heal us. But they're actually really tasty and they actually are a real step to, um, to our healing journey. And so I just want to introduce this project because this is what's giving me real freedom, not just real freedom financially, but this is what, as Kathy says, is really putting it where your heart is. This is really taking what I believe, my passion, my healing journey, and it's really putting it where my heart is. Um, and so I just wanted to introduce this to allow you to also have a way to freedom, another way for you to have health to wealth, right? A way for you to introduce yourself to really living happy and healthy. According to James P. Smith, changes in health lead to income. Among those ages 35 to 44 who reported excellent health in 10 years. And then median income, only by 100,000, the same income reported poor health, which increased less than 10,000. This is basically saying, you guys, when you increase your health, you in increase your wealth. And so I just want to introduce um, Essence Healing Organic Juices, because why not start with us, right? Why not take juicing with a variety of juices that would help your uh, diet, that would help your healing, and really take you to help to wealth. I thank you guys for sharing. <laughs> allowing me to share. That was awesome. I think that was allowing really me to share. Fabulous. Uh, not only did you really work hard on your business, but you're really well prepared. That website was outstanding. And the juices look not only very tasty, but I think everybody knows that fruits are really good for you. Um, and so you'll definitely have to share where we can, you know, do we go on your website? You know, what a great way to, I love it, um, through a way through financial security is by having your own business. 
and doing something you're passionate about. And then also, and maybe this is your tagline for your business, health to wealth. Very good. I think Barbara has some questions for you as well. Good job, Jasmine. Thank you so much, Kathy. Well, Jasmine, I just want to say thank you for sharing your healing hands experience for our community and leaving a legacy. You know, I want to say also with the seven principles and Google Saba, we are today standing on Kuji Chakalia, and it means self-determination. It is important for us to remember that we must be self-motivated. We must be able to know that our art and our art expression is medicine. So we just want to say thank you. But my question to you, and you kind of touched on it, the word freedom. What does the word freedom mean to you when you hear it? Freedom means chains being broken, chains being broken, cycles being broken, um, toxic behaviors being broken. So that's what real freedom meant to me. And so when I address what type of chains I wanted, what type of bondages I wanted broken, it came to my health and my wealth. And so why not find a way to combine them both and really step into freedom where I'm really working on my health and really contributing to my wealth. And so um, this was, like I said, a way for me to really do what I'm passionate about. But like I said, to really look into becoming freedom and breaking some of these chains of bondages and toxic cycles of prescription medications and chronic pain, depression, anxiety, like that's not life. Freedom is living healthy, happy, full, giving honor to God. That's what I think life is about. And that's what the freedom I wanna do. All right, and you said it all. Kathy, back over to you. And thank you, Jasmine. Fabulous, fabulous. Well, thank you, Barbara, and thank you, Jasmine. Gives you some idea, right? So no, this is not just some exercise uh, that is about, you know, just having something to do. What you're finding is that everyone who's has something to say today has grown as a result of their freedom collection piece. And not only grown by creating it, but grown by sharing it. So next, we're going to have a young person share with us their COVID Freedom Collection piece. I believe we now have Halani, or is it Kate? Uh, it could be me. Hi, Halani. Well, Hi. well some of you might remember Halani from our last segment. Halani had shared with us a little bit about her art and expression piece. So Halani, I'd like you to share with everyone your final piece again. And why did you select this particular art and expression? Well, because it started off as one day I was going to do a lemonade stand with my brother and my sister. My brother wasn't that much of a help, but my sister wasn't here. So my friends, I let my friends help. They were terrible help. They were eating all my profit and not doing their best. But that day I didn't give up. The next day I made $118. And I also wanted a hoverboard. So I decided that night that I'm gonna Dollars, so I have enough money to get a hoverboard. Sorry. So, so I have enough money to get a get a hoverboard. So then the next day, my sister came home and she helped me. By that time, I made like a hundred and fit. I had like a hundred and seventy five dollars. I was really close, and I was getting really close to my goal. So then I made it to Michael. My dad came and picked me up, and then there we were on our way. And I have my hoverboard now, and I would also like to show you my business that I have selling lemonade. Um, these are all my friends that help me when I do it sometimes. It's kind of hard to see. How do I show this? Uh, uh, okay. Um. Well, my dad's about to play the video. Mm -hmm. 
Be careful if you're excluded, Daddy. Oh, I have to play the video. And so here's the video. Oh, oh, there it is. So this is it. So thank you. Um, and the reason why I wanted to join this is because that was my business strategy. And the way how I got through this all was with profit, virtue, and pleasure. And I'm going to tell you what those three things mean to me. Profit means is that your profit is successful and that you and that you have enough charity. And for my virtue is how you have good virtues is that you have good conduct and humility. And for my pleasure is that when you when you have pleasure, it means that you're happy, you have you have a great life, you have a great family, and you have your family there to support you without money or with money. Thank you. Excellent job, Alani. Excellent job. And for those of you who don't know how, how old she is, she's nine. Kalani's nine, okay? So if you didn't hear it, let me tell you what she said. She said she had goals. She said business strategy. She says, I'm checking and I'm almost there with my goal. It's called measurement. Nine. We can take a lesson from Halani. Halani, your business is successful because you're successful. And I'm so excited about what you've done because what you've done is shared all, with all of us how we can make some money, even if we don't have much money. And even if we're older, it doesn't mean that we don't have the opportunity to do that. I love the fact that you said uh, virtue, that you also talked about how you don't necessarily have to have money to be happy. These are all great things. Now, I know Barbara has a question or two for you. Halani, I first of all want to say thank you for having the courage to come on this segment and share your gift. It is important for us to make sure that we give young folks like you the opportunity to work in their passion and then turn their passion into being able to be sustainability for you. Um, and you will be a, a, uh, a mentor to others. And I see that even though there were obstacles in your way, you did not give up. You didn't get frustrated. Dad had to come in. But most importantly, you had the courage to stay the course. That is what we're trying to show and encourage and motiv motivate folks in Freedom Collection. Even though obstacles, even if you make a mistake, you've got to keep on pushing. That's what our ancestors did. That's what you did. We commend you. And my word for you today again, what does freedom mean to you? What freedom means to me is let your power out. Do your best. Don't let anybody take you down and don't let anybody stop you from what you want to do. Do your best with all success. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And it's back over to you, Kathy. Wonderful, wonderful. Halani, awesome. Great job, Halani. Great question, Barbara. What freedom means? Everybody has a different definition of freedom. Well, I think this next one you're going to find somewhat interesting. Usually when we talk about wealth, immediately what we talk about, we think about is we think about money. But does everybody think that way? Let's see. Our next Freedom Collection presenter is King, K-I-N-G. King, welcome to the GIC Freedom Collection. And what is that you're wearing there? 
Oh, this is my um karate suit because I got back from karate. You went to karate. Oh, you're also a karate person. So how old are you? Eight. You're eight years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. So wonderful. Not only are you holding up an orange belt because you're in karate, but you're also here to talk to us about your Freedom Collection project. What is that? Well, uh, so I don't really have a name for it, but this is my comic. And this, basically, this comic is about friendship because you also need, like, your friends to help you. You need and, friends to and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I think I might call him Paranorman because he's, like, this alien. And he ha and he de and he's kind of, and and then and then and and he and he's kind of sad if you can see that. So why is Paranorman sad? Well, because he went on a journey, but but and he doesn't have any friends, so he's getting a little sad. Oh, he doesn't have any friends. Okay, yeah. so he's getting, so then Paranorman is sad because he doesn't have any friends. So. What would make him happy? What would make him freer? I mean, why do you think this is important about wealth? Well, actually, if you go like at past two pages, he got he find he finds a friend right here. Okay, he finds a friend. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. And how did he find that friend? Well, well, he was just strolling down, and then he asked, and then he found him. Oh, then what happened? Well, and then, and then, this spider right here says hi. But and then, Pio, no one doesn't know who he is, so he thinks that he's that he's like this this somebody that's trying to hold him. Oh. Okay. So then, what did he do? Well, and then he says his name is Hugh. This battle says his name is Hugh. And he says, and then on the next page, he says he's, that he's going to be, that he's Hironomo's new companion, that, and he's going to um, come with him, like, like come with him on his journey. Wow, so that means that Paranorma, Norman, actually met a friend and now they're going on the journey together instead of him being on the journey by himself? Uh-huh. And then on the next page, on the next page, Harold Norman says, okay. And a few minutes late, and then a few minutes later, you Show and A few minutes later, Show them. Oh, um, and this is a few minutes later. Awesome. <laughs> um, and on the next page, um, Pure Norman and Hugh sees a huge pit, and that thing, and um, and but and then Pure Norman jumps down. But, and but and then paranormal sees like a dot, so he tries to, and his tongue is super too stretchy, so he jumps down on the on the pit into the pit, but and then he misses. <laughs> he misses. But, okay. Yeah, but and then Hugh grabs onto him, but and then something weird happens, and then it turns upside down, but they still make it out free. Because, uh, because, because their friendship, um, because their friendship and their, their walking together is helping them get, get to places that, that might be a little hard to get to. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was amazing. Well, friendship, that's why friendship is wealth. Oh, wow. Friendship is wealth. Here. You know, I agree with you because, you know, you can have all the money in the world, King, and not be happy. But what you just described was someone like Para Norman coming into a journey by himself, being lonely 
And then along the way, finding a companion or a friend that will walk the journey with them and establish a relationship. And the two of them together built wealth by having friendship and love, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is fabulous. I would have never, ever thought about it that way. But you did so, so well with that. I'm curious on what Barbara thinks about this comic strip. Well, King, we just want to say thank you for finding your superpower. And that is in relationships, the importance of relationships. And we want to say when you go back to school, wherever you are, we know that you're going to make sure folks understand the importance of helping one another, unity, bringing us together like we have done in this Freedom Collection. We are so, so proud of you for what you have done and the stories that you have the courage to tell. So I know your Paranoma, is that his, his comic? Is that his name? Um, I know he is going to inspire and motivate many children like yourselves and folks all over the world. We can't wait to see that comic book and we thank you for sharing. Thank My you. word to you today again, what does freedom mean to you? What well, does freedom mean to you? So what freedom means to me is that you, it's like bulls. So um, bulls, they, at some point, they're in an egg and they don't get freedom, but and then they grow up so they can fly. And then that's called freedom. Oh! It's like, it's like, um, it's like when some, when somebody is in a spaceship and then they really miss their family, they get, and then they, they, when they get back to Earth, they, they have more freedom around the world. Wow. And they, and they can see their family that, that, that can also make them happy. Wow. So that is so awesome that. The roads we travel, we, as Kathy said, and you have stated that we need friends. In business, we can have partners, but we make sure that we show ourselves to be friendly. And that is so important. And the world needs that. We need friendship in the world. So, Mr. King, we want to say thank you. Back over to you, Kathy. That's fabulous. Thank you again, King. We're so proud of you. And you know what? We've already had a few people in our comment section ask when are they going to be able to buy Aww. your Paranorman and Hugh comic strip book. So you got to get busy on that comic book. Start putting in those colors and let us know when you can do it. Great job. Great job. Not only on your art and expression piece, but being a part of freedom and explaining to people at the age that you are how and what it means to be free. We're going to be right back in a minute. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we're going to come back with our final presentation. Hang in with us. Because the fight isn't over yet. You will see me choose to protect my community by wearing a face cover. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a man with a never quit attitude, as a fighter for change. Join me in wearing a face cover to help stop the spread of the coronavirus, because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to make a big difference. That's right. COVID-19. Wear your mask. Your mask will help protect you and protect other people around you. And also, vote. B-O-T-E, vote. We have one more week before the election, and it's really, really important to vote. So all of you kids that have already um, provided your presentation, Thank you very much for logging in with us. 
we're now going to have our next presentation. I believe we have Renisha. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Renisha. Renisha showed us her presentation, a little bit of her presentation a few weeks ago. I'm so excited because in our first Art and Expression collection, she did share just a little bit of her piece, but I want her to share with you not only why she's participating in the Freedom Collection and what it means to her, but I also want you to know a little bit about her background because she's a very special young lady as well. Hi, Renisha. Thanks for Hi, joining. Hi, Kathy. Thank you awesome. for having me today. Absolutely. So you're here to share with us your art and expression piece. Yes, I'm excited to share the final piece today. I'm excited. Take it away. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Renisha Coleman, and I am a doctoral candidate at Capella University. I decided to participate in the Freedom Collection because it was a platform that allows me to share and express who I am through art and poetry. So today, my final collection, I'm going to uh, share with you today. Um, in the previous segment, I was sharing um, growing up as a child, I received a lot of judgment because my mother is a lighter skin tone than I am. Um, and then as I got older, you, I received a lot of judgment in regards to me gaining weight. So that sometime um, influenced my mind and um, affected my feelings about myself. So I had to own my own uh, thoughts about how I see myself. Um, so the final art collection um, was a drawing that I did. Um, Gloria, if you can show the drawing. I was participating um, in a paint and paint day with my girlfriends. And so one of the tasks were to draw this woman and place words in her that you felt described yourself. Um, so in addition to this art piece, I also wrote a poem that I am gonna share with you to describe um, my painting and what I was thinking at that time. So the poem goes, the queen I am, beauty comes in all shades. The beauty that I am going to address today is beauty that comes in all shades of brown. Tortilla, peanut, coffee, penny, tawny, cedar, pecan, mocha, caramel, wood, carob, syrup, gingerbread, walnut, umber, hickory, cinnamon, brunette, chocolate, and brown. The queen I am comes in all types of shapes, apple, pear, rectangle, hourglass. The type of beauty and shape I have does not determine my sexiness, intelligence, or class. It does not determine my boldness, my strength, or my sass. The queen I am is a leader. The queen I am is loved by family members and friends. So don't judge me based on my beauty and shape. Take the time to get to know me and you will know that and learn that this queen is great. So that was my final piece to this collection and thank you. Kathy, it's back to you. I will, all I can tell you is that, you know, I, I'm just so proud of you. I'm, I'm proud of everyone that's presenting because you've thought about this. And mm -hmm. it's very clear you thought about it. Um, your artwork is very clear that you thought about it and you touched every part of your body. And I noticed that. And, and uh, you were loving on yourself uh, in, in your painting. And, yeah. and that's fabulous. Um, I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of that for you that you arrived to that, you know, you arrived to that, the, the queen I am. And I remember, uh, the, the, you know, the line in our first session 
where Barbara had mentioned, finish that I am a, and you said, I am a queen. And this is why I'm a queen. And it's taken you here, even though you had already started that artwork, you finished it, not only for you and for others, but it's also part of your doctoral work. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's amazing. Do you mind sharing for a minute with people what you're getting your doctorate in and a little bit about how we met, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it, it's a good tie. Go for it. Okay. So right now I'm currently getting my doctorate in business administration with the emphasis on leadership. And um, it has a slight touch of finance um, in the dissertation piece that I'm writing to receive my doctorate. So how I met Kathy is I was volunteering, believe it or not, and me and Kathy got to speaking on what we do. Um, she told me about herself and her background. I told her a little bit about my background and I was like, oh, awesome. Can you be my mentor? Cause you're so in line with where I'm headed in my career and not only just my career, but my personal development. Uh, and me even trying to work on at the end of my doctoral, I do want to open up my own business. And so I felt like this is just God that brought Kathy into my life. Uh, she has everything that I need um, to learn from. And so I decided to go ahead and continue to partner with Kathy and reaching out to her because I don't know if all you guys know, mentorship can be hard because people's lives get very busy. But if you need or have a mentor, it is everyone's responsibility to keep in touch with each other. And I do want to thank Kathy very much because when COVID happened, we did have a very long break of not speaking. But I was like, no, I am staying in contact with Kathy. And I reached back out to her. And I just thank you for allowing me to ride on your shoulders, Kathy. Oh, my gosh. We are uh, not riding on, on shoulders. We are actually driving in this car and this plane together. <laughs> uh, and I'm just really, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted people to know your story is you're an African-American woman doing her doctorate in business with a focus on finance and leadership. Yes. That's not common. And we need to give each other their dues and their wares. And when you finish your doctoral um, program, which you will. Um, I'm looking forward to being a part of what your next journey looks like because it will be fabulous. Yeah, um, and you. what you're doing right now is really all about social impact. Uh, and we don't see it right now, maybe as a community, but as you continue to uh, grow and develop around your models and your strategies, you're going to touch us. And I'm just glad that I'm I'm a part of what you're doing and we see you now because mm -hmm. in another three, four or five years from now, if you're not running for office, look at me trying to get you one. Look, I know no you political offices. <laughs> but you know, just know we've got some support there too. If you want to know. Okay. The main thing is that you know that you're supported. We we appreciate you. We're proud of Thank you. you. I know I took a little extra time. I'm proud of you as well, as well as I am everyone else. You know, Jasmine, by the way, is also a master uh, graduate. She's also a teacher. She teaches math and science. So we want to be able to show people the great women, the great children that we already have in our presence. So thank you so much. I know thank before you. you, Barbara has a question for you. Okay. Wow. Well, you know, I'm very full. You know, I'm a spoken word artist myself and you just, touched me, inspired me, and I'm like, oh, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so on. Oh, I, my, my mind, my creative side, my art expression just went through the roof. Oh, but I do want to say to you, mm -hmm. I am so proud of you for taking the story that you shared with us at the beginning of your pain, and you took your story and you turned it into a art expression that will heal, motivate, and inspire somebody else. Because you never know what somebody is going through, but most importantly, that their stories count. Mm -hmm. And as an African and brown, Coco Brown woman myself, <laughs> and, and full of, you know, the, 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 before 
growing up, I was a little skinny little thing. And I understand people calling you names. I understand you being subject to all these things that you hear. But mm -hmm. most importantly, oh, something on the inside. That queen I am on the inside stood up and said, oh, no, not what they say, what you know who we are as individuals. And that's what you came to the conclusion of. And not only that, look how your role shifted. And it's showing individuals that things may happen in your life. However, keep pushing. Know that you are somebody that you do make a difference in this world. And such a time as this, God said, come on here. I need to plant you here in relationship with Kathy, with us, with others. So yes. it is a beautiful thing, a beautiful story. And we need to own our stories. Mm -hmm. Good, bad, ugly, challenging. Own it. It is who I am. And no one, no one can take that away from me. Yes. So my word to you, and I want to say also that our ancestors are going nuts. I know they're going nuts because of this Freedom Collection of what Kathy Creative Side told her, not only in financing, but how do you end up healing and encouraging and motivating mm -hmm. folks, understanding that they may have the financial piece, but how will we take care of our mental? How do we take care of our spirit? And that is a whole, it brings us up into wholeness. And that's what this Freedom Collection to me was about. So my word to you is what does freedom mean to you? Okay, Barbara, freedom means to me just basically being able to be your authentic selves at mm. all times without worrying about what other people think about you. Because the only opinion that you have to care about is your own. You have to love yourself. So before you can love anyone else, you have to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, then that's when those negative opinions and expressions and judgments bother, can bother you. So that's what freedom means, being able to love yourself and be yourself authentically and wholeheartedly. Wow. You know, I just want to say I want everybody to Please remember that your art, your art, your art expression will be an inspiration to many people all over the world. And we are so honored to be a part of this journey with you, the roads we travel. How do we continue to push ourselves, push others on this road in this journey called life? I say thank you. Back over to you, Kathy. Thank you so much, Barbara. Well said, well said. And again, thank you again, Renisha, for being with us. We're going to take a commercial break. We're almost done, but we'll be right back. I work out every day. COVID won't kill I'm me. I'm 24. COVID won't kill me. I have antibodies. COVID won't kill it's me. It's been a long week. COVID won't kill me. I'm 25. COVID won't kill me. I'm partying outside. COVID won't kill me. I don't me. need to wear a mask around my friends. COVID won't kill I'm me. I'm 23. COVID won't kill me. If I haven't gotten it yet, COVID won't kill me. I'm young. COVID won't kill me. Famous last words. Don't let them be yours. Socially distance. Mask up, America. Mask up, America. We want to stay alive. So make sure you wear your mask while we're in the midst of this pandemic. And also, don't forget to vote. Now. As we start to wind down our arts and expression show, again, I wanna to say to each one of the participants, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've done an incredible job and I am so proud. We have Jasmine with the Essence Healing Organic Juices. She has a website, you saw it, go to it. She's taking pre-orders right now. So if you wanna help her out in being, as she says, financially independent, then what I would like you to do is please go to her website, let her know that you saw her on the Freedom Collection and that you're interested in a pre-order. So now we're going to help her make some money. We're also going to help you get healthy and wealthy. And remember, we also had Halani. 
And Helani, she shared with us at the age of nine, how to make a couple of hundred bucks just by selling lemonade. And she also got involved the whole community of young people. They created a, a cheer. Go get your lemonade, go get your lemonade, popsicle lemonade right here and made almost $200 in less than two days. So good job, Milani. And King, man, the idea of wealth and having friends, being wealth and not necessarily money, you said it. And at the age of seven, amazing. I am looking forward to Paranorman and Hugh Comic in the future. So make sure you guys are going to be following King Jackson and his comic Paranorman and Hugh on their road and journey together as we travel the roads of life. And of course, we cannot forget Renisha. Renisha, who's our doctoral student in business and finance and leadership, who created her own queen. Wonderful works of art. I would like to say to my buddy and my friend, Barbara, thank you for sharing, as you normally do, all your empowerment and the wonderful kind words of music to our participants. You know, without your words of encouragement and without those beautiful, kind, uh, what do you call them, affirmations, you know, we wouldn't even know a lot of this stuff. For example, you mentioned the virtues mm. and, and some of the other material there. And, and guess what? King also mentioned some of that stuff. Yes. And Lonnie mentioned some of that stuff. So they're listening. We've got our young people going ahead and they're... They're learning from us. So I want to say to you, Sister B, thank you so much. And last but not least, of course, we have our producer. Our producer is Gloria Bailey Ray. You didn't get the memo? That's one of her shows. The other one is Real Talk with Lady G. So thank you for being behind the scenes and making this work for us. Barbara, did you have something you wanted to say before we ended our collection Wow. I do want to say um, that it is so important that we tap into our third eye, our powers. Don't forget, as King said, you know, it, him explaining his his project is that the superhero that we look for on the outside is already in us. And we have that superhero that's in us, the voice that we listen to, the voice that our ancestors listen to because they prayed for us, they thought of us, they had us on their minds. And it is so important for us to continue to have someone else on our mind. And this art collection is going to touch many, many lives and bring mess and bring healing to many, many lives. And I, I am so grateful and honored to be a part of your team, Kathy. I'm so thankful to you for the work that you do in the community and the things that you've been through, but you keep on pushing your persist persistence. And we have endurance. We will continue as our ancestors did, standing on their foundation and keep on pushing on these many roads that we travel in our lives. Back over to you and thank you. Thank you, my sister. So we are winding down our GIC Freedom Collection during COVID-19. Now, although we started it during the COVID-19 pandemic, we're not going to end here. It is pretty clear to me that we have many, many others who really want to be free, whether it's through their art and they want to express that, whether it's through being a doctor and clinical psychologist who can share with us about how the impact of systemic racism and pandemics and our history has impacted us and may be in our way in being able to accumulate wealth and being able to take care of our family. So this series, Wealth and Legacy, is the first of others to come. The next series, if it doesn't happen by the end of this year, 
will definitely start next year. And we will include a second part of our stock voyage game, which will also include our real estate. I think this is a very important time right now when it comes to real estate, because interest rates are really, really low. And even though you're not unemployed, this could be something that could be a goal for you, just like you saw with Polani, the idea of putting something down, I want to achieve and then go for it. It also means that this is a time for you to get your life together financially, whether it means that you're reaching out to someone like me or you're reaching out to an accountant or an attorney or someone that can really advise you. Don't be afraid if you don't have the money to do so. There's always a professional out here to help you. And if we're not able to help you, we are familiar with other resources that might be able to direct you in the right or send you in the right direction. So what I'd like to say again is stay tuned for what's next because we're not going anywhere and it doesn't look like COVID's going anywhere anytime soon. So again, don't forget to vote. By voting, it continues to help you to direct your freedom and make sure you wear your mask because we also want to make sure that we're not spreading the pandemic. Again, thank you for joining me, Kathy Jackson Gent, on the GIC COVID-19 Freedom Collection. Stay tuned for our dates for our next stock game. So you must pay attention to our Facebook page, pay attention to our live notes that come out, but we will also be picking up our stock market game as well in the future. Thank you again for joining us. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you soon.